Raju and Sulbha have gone to jungle trek with their parents and friends. They are playing various games. They decided to play langdi that time, which Shekhar Dada told them a game in which both will jump on a single leg. He said that keep jumping till you can. They happily started playing. After a while, Shekhar Dada asked them that they should end at the starting point and circle the ground as much as possible. It was a fun playing. After some time, Raju claimed he has encircled more area than Sulbha has. Sulbha said no. They started argument but could not decide. They asked Shekhar Dada how to measure the area they have encircled. Smilingly, Dada told them they will learn step by step. How do we measure a length? We take a ruler and measure it. Sometimes we measure in inches, sometimes in centimeters or even kilometers. The units are different. Absolutely. These are various units to measure length. Now what are units? Wow. But the units unit are units. units. They, they are, are there. there. That, that is decided. <laughs> we have decided how long is a centimeter and then 100 centimeter is 1 meter and so on. I understand now that we have to decide a unit to measure the area. I feel that if the unit is connected with unit of length, it is better. Great! You have hit on the nail. Look at the square of sides 1 cm. We define the area inside the square as 1 square centimeter. Is the measure of 1 unit of area. Similarly, we can have square feet or square meter as well. Okay, look, there are two trees on one side and two trees opposite to them. The area between them is like a rectangle. How to measure the area of a rectangle? Simple. Try to fit one square centimeter in it and cover it and the number of such unit it takes to cover the rectangle is its area. The breadth of the rectangle is 3 cm and length is 5 cm. This is how we covered it with unit squares of 1 square centimeter area. There are exactly 5 into 3 equal to 15 such squares so the area is 15 square centimeter. Thus the formula is area equal to L into B where L is the length of the rectangle and B is the breadth of the rectangle. Let us try to find the area of this lecture hall. The tiles are 1 meter by 1 meter. There are 10 tiles from the board to the end along there are 6. The length of the rectangular hall is 10 meters and breadth is 6 meters. So area is equal to L into B. So area of the hall is 10 into 6 equal to 60 square meter. In the morning, Raju had tied rope around those four trees forming a rectangle. The length of the rectangle is 5 meter and breadth is 3 meter. Sulba wanted to know how long was the rope. As seen, it is 2L plus 2B. It comes to 16 meter. This quantity is called the perimeter of the rectangle. The area of the square of side A is A raised to 2 and perimeter is 4A. Let us try to find the perimeters and areas of different shapes in the following figure. Well, 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 there are quite a few quadrilaterals and triangles. It will be interesting to find or understand the formula to find area of them. Let us consider the parallelogram ABCD. Observe the figure. The triangle shown inside and outside are congruent. So, by removing one joining as BFC, we get rectangle AEFB which has the same area as the parallelogram ABCD. The area of the parallelogram is the length into height. The height is perpendicular distance between the two lengths. Observe the figure to get the area of a right angled triangle. It is half the area of the rectangle formed by matching the diagonal. The area is half into base into height. 
in the case of any general triangle it is also half into base into height the height is as shown in the diagram